take Sam and then we'll open the floor for questions and approach you, Brandon. You go with Brandon first, or me? You first. I just got this, that's why I'm looking at it. First of all, I thought, uh, you know, again, I thought both teams, uh, I thought uh, in the first half, Iowa uh, was, um, was playing, you know, much more aggressive than we did. Uh, we keep stats, and they got the ball into the lane 20 times in the first half, and, and we knew going into the game that they were going to drive the basketball, so we were disappointed in that. I thought in the first half, uh, there was a couple times there that, you know, to be honest with you, it could have it could have got to, you know, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then, and then we just kept chipping away. And our defense, I don't know, it's probably around what four or five, six minute mark. Uh, our defense, I think, picked up, and we got some easy baskets and transition. I don't know exact time that that happened, but when we were struggling scoring, we were getting some defensive play that allowed us to get some uh, get some runouts to where we got some easy baskets to keep us in the ball game. But I told the team before the game, I thought again. Free throws is going to be very, very important, and we got to the free throw line 24 times and made 18 of them. Uh, and, then, and, then, and then I said turnovers. Uh, this team has not turned the ball over in some games, and we've just gone crazy in others. And you know, the last game we played, we turned it over 27 times. Um, and, and you can't win against anybody doing that. But overall, I mean, Brandon is a guy that um, you know uh, has made some big shots for us, but. He kept us in the ball game tonight offensively. He always keeps us in the game defensively. Uh, but I thought, uh, you know, again tonight he uh, did a nice job. Uh, obviously six for seven from threes. And, you know, uh, he was open. And, and that's one thing Brandon does is he takes good shots. And, and he's been a guy for four years that, uh, as I've said to our local people, the only guy I know that a coach has to get on to about taking shots because he's one of our better shooters. And for us to have a chance, he's got to do that. But down the stretch, I mean, you tell me. I can't tell you the last time we've worked on zone defense. So uh, I guess coaching is is not overrated. <laughs> I mean, don't work on it. Just play it, and you might do okay. But no, you know. But our guys, again, um, went to the zone and slowed them down because our dribble penetration was causing us so many problems. And and maybe that uh, got us on a little roll, I don't know. But overall, it's a great, great, great win for this basketball team uh, to go on the road, uh, to win a conference game against a team that I didn't think played that bad tonight. I mean, so it was a good win for us. Brandon, why do you think you were able to get so open to get there? Uh, I guess I just found an open spot. And um, like Coach told me, um, you know, going, going to the game and just in practice, you know, be more aggressive and look for your shot. Um, you know, I'm being selfish if I, if I don't take the open shot, so that's what I did. And you know, uh, my teammates they, they they put the ball in put the ball in my hands to make the right play or to, to, to shoot the ball. Brandon, as the game went on, did you feel the team on the court got more confidence? Um, I believe so. Um, you know, but one thing that um, I'm really proud of our guys is that we stuck with it when things weren't going away on the defensive end, as far as um, our guys making uh, defensive mistakes, including myself. Well, we stuck in there and, and we, we fought through, and um, this is what happens when we fight through to the end. Brandon, obviously Ohio State was a tough pill to swallow. How big is it for this team moving forward to come out, have the performance you did, and pick up that first Big Ten road win? Um, it's always important to, to win a basketball game, um, but at the same time, uh, you know this game is is over now. Now you all just you just move forward, you move forward to the next day, which is in practice, and then practice leads to the games and. You gotta have the, the way you are playing games is the way you prepare and practice. So um, that's what Coach Tyler has taught us, and um, we just gotta keep uh, continuing to do that. Coach, I think you scored on 17 or last 19 possessions of the game. That's uh, that's pretty strong stuff. You think that was like you said just against the zone you had to work on, but you guys seem to take advantage of everything. That the well, I think probably if you go back and look, and Brandon can you know talk a little bit about this. I don't think there was many possessions in the last. 15 minutes that we didn't try to run a special play every possession and 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 then when they did when we did get something uh, you know we were fortunate to make a shot and when we didn't do anything we didn't panic uh, I think someone asked the question I think how Brandon got some shots I bet you a lot of the shots that he got wasn't until the last seven or eight seconds so their defense was really good I don't think it was something that they broke down but you know, uh, I think uh, I think they did a nice job defensively. We just 
were patient enough to go to the end. I mean, Dylan Talley, I think, made a couple of plays probably with three or four seconds. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, so many times the plays and all those things are overrated. Guys, our guys just went and made some plays. Brandon, you get tired of hearing Doc say you're shooting practice? Uh, a little bit. Obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's something that Coach has, has told me, you know, since day one. I'm talking about five years ago when I, when I first, you know, stepped foot on campus. Um, but, you know, just the uh, type of player that I am, you know, I need to change, obviously. But, you know, I'm out of taking assists over jump shot any day. Coming off the loss that you did against Ohio State, did you, what was the mentality? I mean, how, did, how were you able to put, it, put that loss behind you and just move forward and work on this type this of thing? This team has always done that. Uh, you know, even – even when, when, when we were 0-4 or 5, whatever we were in the league, we were having great practices. And, and I think probably a lot of that is that we've got four seniors, and, and it's not the first time they've been through this. And, uh, and so uh, as we talk about, there's three things in the last two or three weeks. We talk about effort, attitude, and enthusiasm. As long as we keep those three things and we, uh, you know, we're not going to win every game, but it's going to be a fun year. It's going to be because you know you're doing everything you can do. And, and that's all I tell these guys. Guys, wins and losses mean a lot more to other people. Uh, but to me, uh, it means get the very most out of these guys. And I think these guys are giving us everything they got. And that's what, that's what I appreciate. Anything else for Coach and Brandon? Thank you all for coming.